Welcome boys and girls to our lesson 6, a continuation of uh, lesson 5. The topic is Uniform Circular Motion, uh, Form 4. Now I can start telling you it is paper 1, motion, sign paper 1, eh? linear motion, circular motion, paper 1. So today we are going to learn about conical pendulum. Eh? conical pendulum like this you have a string so it is at rest position yeah. but at one point it will be there okay it is moving in a conical way it is moving in a conical way so you see and then it moves so it is prescribing a horizontal circle so we are considering that circular motion on a horizontal plane the thread makes an angle with the horizontal so if I may hold the two that you can see there is an angle here here there is an angle okay there is an angle there between the ruler under the thread that is the angle I'm talking about as theta so what do you I want you to understand basically from the diagram you have to conceptualize a cone a cone okay with a flat base so the slanting height makes an angle theta with the base Theta is the angle to horizontal. Mg is weight. So if I'm given the mass of a body, I can convert it to weight or force in Newton. That one you know. If it is in a kilogram, by 10, multiply by 10. If it is in a gram, divide by 100. Shortcut. T is the tension in the string. I have T. The tension is towards where you are holding, okay? So that is the interpretation of this diagram. But I am giving you a clue that in exam, they may describe that angle theta to horizontal, the angle the tension makes to horizontal, or they can tell you the angle tension makes with vertical. The angle the tension makes with the vertical. Okay? That must be very clear. You must understand which angle. Because the subsequent formulas depend on the correct interpretation. So in short, I'm telling you there are two types of angle. An angle to horizontal and an angle to the vertical. So you can see the thread to vertical this one is the thread to horizontal very important so we want to analyze here centripetal force is the force that is directed towards the center of a circle so this is our center of the circle so if i draw a line here it will represent the magnitude of horizontal force which is centripetal force if i draw a red vertical uh, line it represents a vertical force i have a hypotenuse force and then horizontal force with angle theta the opposite is also a force so i can now tell you i'm dealing with a triangular force a triangle of forces that's what I have so let us focus down here let us focus down here I move it a bit yes so we are dealing with a triangle of forces I want to dwell on this because this is my exam this is the angle theta to horizontal so if I multiply a number here times cos of this angle 
I get adjacent. But when I multiply t times sine of this, I get opposite. So from triangle of forces, I have three forces. T, T cos theta, and T sine theta. So in that right angle triangle, every side I have described what type of force. Now, forces in this triangle in relation to our topic of circular motion. The force that is directed towards the center, you can see here, this, is known as centripetal force. Therefore, in my triangle, I also equate T cos theta as centripetal force. Vertically, I have a force that will be equivalent to mg from Newton's third law of motion. Action and reaction are equal but act in opposite direction. That's why I have T sine theta is equal to mg. So the black are aspects of motion in a conical pendulum prescribing a, a, a horizontal circle. So there is a horizontal circle which or whose force towards the center has to be accounted for. And that is what we have. So we focus down a bit now calculation. In our calculation, in our calculation, we are going to divide the left hand side by the left hand side, the right hand side by the right hand side. But here, I want also you to note, I've started with sine. So I have sine, T sine theta divided by its corresponding partner, T cos theta. Here, mg, mg divided by fc. Okay, so what do you get? We get T and T cancel. So sine over cos is what we call tangent. Okay? Is what we call tangent. Here I have mg divided by fc. But centripetal force is mv squared over r. So you have again here this and this cancel and you end up with rg over v squared. This is now tan theta. So there are very many components that you need to understand now. Why did I divide sine over cos and not cos over sine? The reason is sine over cos, we can account for it as tan. Remember, cos over sine is not handled at this level. But those who do physics in further levels, they can divide cos over sine. There is a particular name given to it. At this level, it has to be strictly sine over cos. Young men, these are key things, key issues. Next, we are going to do now SPSS. We are going to get some question and see how to apply this. We have done quite a number of formulae, formulas, formulae, formulas, stadia, plural, stadium, but we also say stadiums, stadiums, stadia, formulae, maybe formulae if you are from those places. But we have done quite a number of a number of formulae. Now this topic is the one. You can be sure you can see there is a lot of formulae. You will get something. You can bet. You will get something. So understand the concept don't try to cram. The part that I will give next 
about road, the banking, and so on. They will be simple and direct. In other words, it will be testing application of this formula. It doesn't have theoretical application very much. No. It is just to interpret the question, sort out the, the quantities, and then plug them in the correct formula. Please prescribe, tell your friend, we have to pass despite the challenges. Bye-bye.